Hello everyone. Welcome to Builder Buy. So we took out Cortana. We got rid of Search. We're going to put Search back. We have to put Cortana back. Now this is for Windows 10 2004. It'll work on previous versions. But as you already know, with Windows 10 2004, you can go in and uninstall Cortana now. So what we're going to do is put it back. We'll show you. We'll show you what it looks like once we get finished with that. Then we're going to go and show you a different routine that we're going to use. So we don't need an overhead right now. By the way, we're going to be building a computer here shortly. So let's go over to the computer and uh, get started. Even though we got rid of Cortana, we put that one in the folder file name. When you reboot the computer, Windows puts that folder back, but not everything is in it. So what we're going to do is take the contents of the original folder that's still there, copy those contents and put them in the new folder. Let me show you. So here's our folder and here's the new folder. I'm going to click on the new folder and show you the contents. There's a bunch of DLLs in here. What's important to notice is there are no subfolders. We're going to put those subfolders back. Now this is our folder that we had from last time and you see all these subfolders. So if we were to press the Windows S key, we don't get anything. Search doesn't work. So what we're going to do is do a Control All, right click, we'll copy. We'll back out. Now we'll go to Windows Cortana. And we're going to do a right click in an area that's empty and paste. And this is important. We're going to skip the files. Replace files in the destination. We're going to skip. Now for this feature, Windows Cortana, what we need to do is provide administrator permission to copy the folder. We're going to do this for all these contents or else we'd have to go through this one at a time. Real slow, real hassle. We're only putting the files over that used to be there, not the files that have been put in since then and it won't give us any issues. You might get the user account control that will pop up, so you'd have to accept that unless you go to the control panel and fix it. So we're going to put these files over and you're going to see how it's going to respond. So we provided administrator permission. We put a check mark here, do this for all current, and then we say continue. And it'll put everything over there. It'll dump those files. Okay. Now we're going to back out. Let's zoom out. And now we press Windows flag S. Voila. We have search. Now one other little thing I want to show you this with right quick. Let's go take a look at the task manager and see what's left. So from task manager on the desktop, right click on the arrow, click on the task manager. The reason I'm showing you how to get the task manager this way, yes you can click anywhere in the bar, but if you're like me and you get that full of icons and a lot of stuff going on, that arrow will always be there. So if you right click on that arrow, you've got the menu where you can bring up the task manager. I'm just saying. And what we're looking for is Cortana. Cortana is back, but if you'll notice, it says Cortana is suspended. So even though Cortana is there, it's not running. Uh, and by the way, this is not Windows 10 2004. This is an older version. So this works previously. In fact, I'll show you what this one is right quick. Windows flag I, system, scroll down, about. And I'm doing this on an Intel NUC. And this is Windows version 1903. You can see right there. Windows 10 Pro version 1903. So this should work for anybody what we're showing on Windows 10 Home as well as Windows 10 Pro. This will work on Windows 10 2004, but I'm showing you on Windows 10 1903, just so we're clear. So we still have that Cortana running, although it says suspended. When I bring up, let me, let me move this over so you can see what happens, how much memory it's going to use when it starts activating. And I cannot minimize the size of the screen it uses. So if I zoom in, we'd, we'd get all kinds of crazy things. So Windows flag S for start. And you'll notice it bumps up on the CPU and the memory. And all I've done is call up the context menu with Windows flag S. But when I hit escape, or when I stop, it drops out. Now it says it's using memory, but when I hit escape, that'll clear out too. Just give it a minute. Bingo. So... Cortana is still running, but not using resources like it used to. It's not hogging stuff like it did. So, so even though Cortana is still there, search reacts like search should now. Uh, but we can go a step better. So I'm going to show you two applications. One I like for searching files, but that's all it does is search files. If you want to look inside of a file, there's another application I want to show you that's, that's pretty cool. Both of these are free. Uh, one of them is always free. The other one's got a, a paid version but the free version will do what we want. So let's take a look at those two applications. The first application we're going to look at is called Listary. And it's pretty cool the way it works. Let me close all this stuff down because we're through with that. So we're going to go out and we're going to do a search for L-I-S-T-A-R-Y dot com. Listary. And there's a Listary Pro 
we want the free version. We're going to download the installer. And you notice there's also a portable version of this as well. It's pretty cool the way this interacts and the way it integrates with the operating system. I think you'll enjoy this. And it's fast. At this point, we want to follow their tutorial. Their tutorial is very, very helpful. In fact, it's extremely helpful. It explains everything really, really quickly. So once we do this, then I'll show you how it does some of the things it does. What it doesn't do, it doesn't do. But what it does do, it does very well. So we're going to click on Finish. We're going to run Listery. Now then, this seems to be the first time you're running Listery. Would you like to take a quick tour? Absolutely. This is very informative. It's very quick. Click on Next. And Explorer window will be opened to get you started. We'll click on Next. Try it. And we just start typing. Type Text 2. T-E-X-T space 2. Look at that. This pops up. And if you'll notice, it's also taking us to the App Data folder. And that's pretty slick, don't you think? There's more. Hang on. A lot of the stuff we're going to do with App Data in the past and in the present and in the future, it's important to know about App Data. That's a hidden folder. So we're going to click on Next when we're done. If you prefer mouse, you can use mouse double click or middle click to access list area. Try it. Double click in an empty area of the right panel in Explore. And we get a menu, a context sensitive menu. We have favorite, add here, recent, current, commands, and options. Options, of course, for configuration. It's a pretty neat program. And this is the free version. Remind that. There is a paid version that does more, but I think for what most people want to do, and the reason I mention this program, there are things that it will find that I've had some of the other programs that will not find. Um, I need to have like an older computer that's got a lot of stuff on it, or if I've got a computer that has like, say, Blackmagic. If any of you have any Blackmagic software installed, try this program and do a search for the word Firewire and see what comes up. But I got another program that searches inside of files that is really, really cool. This will not search inside of files. So we'll get to that. So we can click Next when we're done. Next keyboard shortcut sequence. To search all your apps and files anytime, press Control twice. Press Control twice, type Notepad, press Enter, open it, and then click Next when you're done. Let's give that a shot. Press Control key twice, and there it is. And we'll type Notepad, N-O-T-E-P-A-D. Press Enter, there's Notepad. Now, I like that. I don't know about you guys, but that's, uh, that's pretty slick. That beats running through the menus. Uh, for those of us that are maybe kind of used to the command line, because we used to do a lot of stuff with that, uh, this is a pretty handy tool. But it's a lot faster than going through the menu, especially when you know what you're looking for. For example, if I want to get to the command prompt because I want to go to uh, check the network, this will be a lot easier than trying to drill through the menus looking for stuff. I just type command, bring it up, run it as administrator, and then I can... Uh, check the network. So pretty cool. So we'll close Notepad. We'll click Next. In Notepad, press Control File Menu, Open, press Control G. Okay, let's go back. Control Key, Notepad, bring it up. We'll press Control G. We'll click File Menu, Open. Then we'll press Control G. Now that's pretty slick. I like the fact that it took us right back to the percent app data percent folder where we were doing the tutorial from. And that's what it's taking us back to. That, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I got lots of stuff in lots of places. And even though I have an NVMe drive, all the stuff I save, downloads and everything, goes off to another drive, a separate drive, a spinning drive. And to be able to do this without having to navigate, that's just, I like that, fast. Let's keep going. So we'll click on Next. List area has just let this open dialog navigate to the current folder in Explore. Right oh, right on. We'll click on Next. There are many other features of List Area like Favorites, History, and Commands. For more details, check List Area Options via the tray icon. Now, how do we call this program up real quick and easy? Because Control-S, that keyboard shortcut, is saved for the Windows Search. It's still there. Unless you didn't enable it like we just showed you how to re-enable it. So, uh, let's take a look. Zoom out. Close all this stuff down. And if I just press Control twice, I've got a context-sensitive menu. Or if I double click on the desktop, I've got a menu. So we'll do that again. Control twice brings this up or double click. And when I say double click, that's with the left mouse button. So I double click and I bring up a context sensitive menu. So those are just some quick short things it does to bring up to find stuff on your computer. But I got another program I'm going to show you that'll look inside the contents of files. And that's amazing. 
uh, it can do searches, but I like this, the way it integrates with the uh, keyboard shortcuts to give us access to some real cool stuff real quick. But I like this other program when I need to look inside. A lot of times I can remember a term, but I cannot remember where it's at. Let's take a look. So we'll click Next. We'll click Done. We can learn more about it. If we click on that, it'll take us to their website, bring up an HTML document, and voila. And of course, now their goal is they want us to buy the program, which makes perfect sense. I understand that. But uh, the free version, I think, will do whatever you want. There are other tools out there that do quick searches, but I like the way Listary works. Um, there's not one that will do everything for free. Uh, probably the best program that does searches was Copernic. That was the one that Al Massey liked, for those of you that remember Al Massey. Um, he was a neat guy, part of Builder Buy for a very long time. Miss him very much. And uh, this program, Listary, also interacts with some of the other programs that you might use in place of Explore. And the uh, one that Joe Winry liked so well, this will interact with that and integrate with it. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you. So let's go now to this next program. This next program is called Agent Ransack. It's pretty cool. So we're going to do a search for Agent Ransack. We'll go to their website, and we are going to download. Find files that other search engines miss. And that is absolute fact. And there is a paid version of this as well. All we want is the light version. We'll download it. We'll run it. And this will give us the option, except the EULA, like we have a choice. And again, into program files, 64-bit app. We will install. Okay, we've got file run locator pro. We'll say okay. Okay, now here's what's important. Localization settings, English, okay. Now here's where you want to pay attention. You can run the free version, or you can run the paid version, or you can run the paid version for free for a limited amount of time, 30 days, so you can try it out. We're going with the light version that's free right now. And this is where you make that selection. It says reduced functionality. I can live with that. Now the downside to this program, there's no integration where you call it up easily. You have to call this application up. There's a couple of keyboard shortcuts you can set. It'll show you and tell you what the defaults are. But what it does do, that it does very, very well, better than anybody else, it will search inside of a file. Let me show you. If you notice right here, containing text. Now I'm not sure if I have the document on here, but I'll try a search. F-I-R-E-W-I-R-E. -E -E. Firewire. And if I have the Blackmagic software on this drive, it'll find that word within the document. And, oh, I didn't realize. Okay, there's a good example. It found CPU-Z that mentions the word Firewire. Okay, there's another computer that I did this on that I have some Blackmagic software on. It's an AMD 8350. And um, I just put that in to see what would happen. I couldn't believe it brought up the word Firewire under some of the information that came with the uh, Blackmagic software. So what I'm saying is you try that search looking inside a file with some other applications, a lot of other applications will not find it. This is amazing. This works. This finds anything. So if you're looking for a term, this is the way to go. So that's two programs. So what we've done, we've done three things. One, we've gotten rid of Cortana, which you saw in the last video. We restored Cortana, which means we restored search. But this is a different way search works. I think it's better. Uh, kind of interesting what we had to do to get there. But it should work on any version of Windows, Pro or Home, and any versions 2004 and back. We showed it on a machine with 1903 on it. And we showed you two applications now that integrate better with search. One integrates that is Listary. It, it Listary integrates with the operating system. I like that. Agent Ransack is the one that looks inside of files, which is really cool because we're getting ready to build a Threadripper 3, and I hope you guys are excited about that. So we'll have links up to all these applications we've just shared with you. And if you've got any questions, get in touch with us. We're here to help. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe. My name is Gil Boyd. This is BuilderBot, and we are out.